So, I have just seen fantastic beasts and where to find them. Yes, I'm a bit of a Harry Potter fan. What can I say? It's Harry Potter. I'm British. That's what you do. So, if you don't want any spoilers, don't watch this. But I... So, warning. Warning, 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 warning. I'm going to be spoiling it. So, big spoilers. I must say, I enjoyed it. It was very interesting. Not just the magnificent beasts, and so when they say fantastic beasts, they mean it. But also, the characters, the actors, the storyline was a bit confusing, but only in the sense of I didn't know what was coming at all. Like, for the majority of the movie, it's like, whoa, okay, this is interesting, what's happening next? Rather than a predictable storyline, which every movie usually follows, you can usually tell where something go go where something's going, or you know the conflict at the very beginning. Here, you don't exactly know the conflict. You know, something is berating New York. Something is going on in New York. Newt arrives and then has a few problems. <laughs> and meets these people. And it's like, wow, okay. It does throw up a few questions in my mind, though. I'm not gonna... Oh wait, I've already given a warning, never mind. The ending. Ooh, the ending. It's sad. It's not happy, it's not terribly sad, it's just sort of like real life, which I feel is sort of what JK Rowling is good at. The war in Harry Potter was real. You could tell that there were going to be circumstances. There were going to be, basically, result. What's the word? There were going to be repercussions for everything. People did die in that, and in this, nothing really changed. The city was still the city. The laws were still the laws, and there wasn't really much you could do. Yes, the conflict was sorted. At least for now. But Newt still got pretty much kicked out of New York. And. Well. The other guy lost his memory. After being through all that, he had to lose it. There's a hint at the end that he might remember something. But even then, that's really sad. Now my questions. Grindelwald. We, I knew he was going to be in it at the beginning, and I also knew that in the trailers you don't see him. You finally meet him at the end, and I'm sort of going, when exactly is this? We know that Dumbledore is a professor, at the very least, at Hogwarts. And we know that... Grindelwald and him are close, but not that close. Grindelwald and Dumbledore sort of broke off their friendship after Ariana died. And I think that's before he became a professor? Just before? Am I right? Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. I may be a, I may be a bit of a fan of Harry Potter, but even I don't get more of my facts straight. If that's so, that means the wand in this movie could possibly be the Elder Wand? No, I actually don't think it is, because then when Thingy disarms him later on, that means the Wand would pass to her, and that would just get confusing with all, the whole thing. But I do think... I do think it's possible that he's using a different Wand. He must have it at this point because he's older. And he steals the wand when he's younger. And you can tell he knows about the Deathly Hallows because he gives a Deathly Hallows necklace. 
So what does that mean exactly? Also, why is he in New York? Of all places, why is he there? It's never really explained. So, we know that he eventually does escape. He must escape for Dumbledore to defeat him later on. But still, it's interesting. Why would he be in New York? Was he trying to cause the same thing there? I honestly didn't know where Grindelwald was going to come into it. I thought the guy was just a follower, or a very avid follower, or someone who was going to be a follower, if that makes sense. So I don't know. Overall, good movie, good effects. I loved the sort of zoo, sort of safari type thing the guy had in his suitcase. I was sort of like, wow, that is awesome. But at the same time, it throws up a few questions in my mind. And I can't wait to see the fan theories about it. Especially this. Ariana also suppressed her magic. And we know she had outbursts of the same thing. But that was a lot uh, old. She was a lot older. A lot older. When she died. So. Is it possible because she already used her magic? And with the help of her mum and brother, she managed to become older, and so work wasn't suppressing it as much? Or was it something different? Because she was raised in a magical family and would have used magic whenever she was younger. Makes sense. Accidental magic. Hmm. But it does make you wonder. It also means, explains why he... It also does explain why they hid her. They hid her away so that she wouldn't go to St. Mungus. That I got from Harry Potter, Harry Potter Wiki. So if I'm wrong in that, sorry, but that's what I got from Harry Potter Wiki. So yeah, I would suggest you go see this movie. If you've watched this video, you have a ton of spoilers. Sorry, but I didn't warn you. Right, I'll see you all in the next video. Whenever that may be. Possibly tomorrow. Maybe. <laughs> Stay brooding.